Hello everyone, it's Shauna again with Life Having Holt and Room coming at you with another Disney video. This is one of our ride videos, small, little more in-depth talk about a specific ride at the Magic Kingdom. And today we are going to be talking about Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean can be found at Disney World's Magic Kingdom. It is a relatively slow moving boat ride and I'll explain what I mean by relatively in just a minute. But this is a great fun ride for kids and adults alike. Now getting into the boat is actually very easy. It comes up onto a platform that holds it steady up against the loading dock. There's only a tiny little small crack where a little kid could slip their foot in there. So if you have little ones, make sure you hold onto them or lift them up into the boat. It's only about a six inch step in and another eight to 10 inch step down. You step in onto the seat and then down into the bottom of the boat and you sit down. The sides of the boat are relatively low. That's how you can tell that this ride is not very crazy and there's no major, major drops. So if you're in a boat with low sides, rest assured, there's nothing crazy going to happen to you. At least that's how I tell. After loading, they're gonna shoot you off into the little river. You're gonna head right into the Pirate's Cave. Now, if you've ridden this in the past, the ride has gone through some changes over the years. So don't be surprised if you haven't been in a while, if some things are missing or different. So there are no wheelchair accessible boats, so anyone riding this ride will have to transfer from their wheelchair or mobility device. I am almost 100% certain that they do have contraptions that will help someone if they need additional assistance getting into the boat. However, I've never seen it nor needed to use it. At this point, once you're in your boat, they're gonna shoot you off into the cave. Once you get near the end of the cave, it's gonna get very dark and you'll start to hear the waterfall coming up. And rest assured, it's not that bad. But once you see the Skull and Crossbone character that talks to you with a pirate hat on, be prepared for a 14 foot drop. It's really, really minimal and not crazy. Do hold on to little ones who may not be stable or able to stabilize themselves. I always make sure that I have my little ones sitting on the inside of the boat. So Pandora would be fine probably, but just for safety and a little extra assurance, uh, we make sure Pandora and Jude are in between two adults in the party. And if it's just me, I have them on either side of me and I make sure to hold on to both of them. This is also a photo op moment. They will take your picture right here. And if you have magic bands or your card on you, they will automatically show up in your My Disney Experience app in your memory maker or photo pass section. After this drop, the rest of the ride is smooth sailing. You're gonna cruise right on through the Caribbean, see Captain Barbosa, check out some ruffians in the town as they're drinking, having a good old time and burning the place down and the kids did still really love this however jude was mortified of that drop so keep that in mind the main queue line is wheelchair accessible when you get to the ride they'll have you get out and they move your wheelchair or stroller over to the unloading area and i know for certain the unloading area there is a very steep um, moving walkway it used to be an escalator but now it's a flat walkway that moves you upstairs but if you have a wheelchair or stroller you can't use that there is a little hallway that you go down and there is an elevator that you take upstairs instead that opens up just outside down a little ways from the restrooms and the gift shop all right so that is all i have for you on Pirates of the Caribbean. Really great fun ride. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions about it specifically, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye!